<laughs> I'm not reading the shit out loud. Oh, there's my dream. I don't. I don't want to. I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna piss myself laughing. It's like a bedtime story. You read it out then. <laughs> okay, I I'm not reading it. Read, read it. Read it. Hi, out people. Loud. I don't know how you got it. I'm telling Tubbies, but I think J.K. Rowling must think about doing a crossover. It would be very cool. Here we go. Severus <laughs> <laughs> Snape is very sad. He was not having many pleasures doing lectures and teaching students anymore. <laughs> All these adventures happening at Hogwarts sucked the inner life from his bones and he had nothing more to accomplish. He went to Dumbledore. He had masked it. I want to be expelled. I don't have what it takes to teach any Moiri. Dumbledore was puzzled. But Sneeper... <laughs> you are my best professor. You can't go and waste the knowledge mm. you have. Oh, Dumbledore, I'm so sad, said Snape, putting the back of his hand on his forehead. Dumbledore, the powerful and wiseful Magus, he was a, brought a solution. Okay, Snape, I'll transfer you to another place, somewhere calm, where, where you will help good creatures that have N.O. parents. How long is this? <laughs> Snape got grateful that Dumbledore, Dum, Dumbledore understood his feelings. <laughs> And pushed him to place less onerous to his advan advancing age. Snape took a train and after days finally reached a colourful and wonderful place. It was the Tubby Dome Supertronic <laughs> of his new students. He reached there and a Paris coffee welcomed him. Prof Snape, you arrive. The students waits you in the classroom. Snape is still sad that his powerful stomach <laughs> He got chilled because the mystery of novelty approaches his comfort zone. When Snape entered the classroom, four coloured creatures were there seating on the chairs. They said to Snape, Eh -eh. And Snape smilled. Feeling his heart get full of ignominious ing, passion. Alright, dear students, today you will learn potion making. No, we want to learn how to be adult, cried the poor Teletubbies. They had to live for many long inside that perfect bubble, only experimenting the baby joys of youth. But every day was equal to them. Not really happened at their house, and life was boring. When Snape arrived, a flash of hope filled their hearts and the promise of life beyond the perfect present they got trapped when, hey, they got born. Oh, oh shit, that dark oh shit. And pale skinned man can save the babies from this terrible fate. But kids, said Severus, I must accomplish the curriculum. Oh, Professor, I'm dying from inside. Don't let the evil periscopy suck the last remnants of humanity locked in my so fatal broken heart, said the yellow Teletubby, la la, with a sensitive voice, calling for a strong man to free her mind, her body. <laughs> Snape looked at her and felt some something funny inside his pelvis. Oh dear. <laughs> it was a long time since he started. It was a long time since the last time he shared a intimacy filled momnet with a woman. Snape was starting to break. This is this is difficult. <laughs> <laughs> this is challenge. <laughs> the Paris Buffy woman watches us. How can we have privacy? The purple leader, Tinky Winky, got up and uttered with his powerful throat. I have a secret place, Professor. Oh no. We can learn there and free ourselves from the bounds of madness that others inflicted upon us, said him, hitting his chest with, with a clench hands. Snape looked down, thought, and followed the purple reader. He opened a secret door inside the house, a door leading to the basement. The place was full of rats and cockroaches. Water infiltrated the place, and mold smell was present in dangerous quantities. A lot of earth and dirty was covering the place, and a hole in the wall could be seen. You are making a hole? Yes, Snape, said Tinky Winky. We must escape, so we are creating an exit to get out of the evil crunches of the woman periscopy. I must help you, Teletubbies. Professor, said Lala. <laughs> First, teach... No! <laughs> 
myself. Not hungry. Snape nuded in agreement. He <laughs> was his wondrous. <laughs> He, with his wondrous magic wand, created a giant bed and some wine and cheese to accompany this illustrious wisdom moment. <laughs> Teletubbies, lay her with me. I'll teach you how to be a man. Oh, but you, Pooh, aren't ready yet. You are too young, baby. Stay here in the corner and play with you small hoes. <laughs> said, and... <laughs> And Pooh got sad, but Nestles, he did what Snoopy um, said and what she others while they got teached. So, said Snap, Lala, you make a pair with me. Tinky Winky, you go with Gypsy. Watch me while I play with Lala and mimic my moments. This oh. way you learn. Oh my Jesus Christ. <laughs> Snape then got on his nest and looked at the laid Lala. She was sweating a bit. Don't be afraid, small yellow girl. Just spread your legs. And she did. An engorged vagina shrine at her crotch. But it was full of cotton yellow pubic hair. Snape picked up a scissor and cut it. Just one scissor. <laughs> Snape said, Tinky Winky have no crotch mouth, but a very strange tongue. It's filled with purple wrinkled skin. No, oh, Dipsy, he don't have crotch mouth, but behind him you will find a pork eye. Don't be afraid, it's dirty, but after a while you will like the fine flavour of melted chocolate covering your lips. Oh. Dipsy turned Tinky Winky, and the purple telly tubby revealed his deep purple anal heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What I do, asked Dipsy, I will do with Lala. Don't be a, f a free ad. Tinky Winky will scream and moan, but you must go on, said Snape, with a calm and soft, full, deep voice. Oh, Professor, said Lala, with a moaning, lustful voice. I think I peed myself. I'm feeling moist. <laughs> no, Lala, you not pee. You are only happy that I'm here. Seriously? Yes. Now suck my index finger. <laughs> and she did. And Snape unclothed himself. His pale, shiny penis appeared, and all of the Teletubbies got impressed. His nutsack was very white and hairy, and exhaled a snake <laughs> oil perfume essence. Lala felt a joint of fusion down her antenna. Now, boys, do as I do. And then Snake introduced his wizard, wondrous penis, inside Lala. She screamed, Ah! A flush of yellow blood got expelled from a now broken height. Covered snake, and he rubbed himself with that sticky liquid. Prodessa, moaned loudly Lala. Isn't this wrong? I'm feeling so dirty. No, Lala. Don't be ashamed. When you bit the forbidden fruit, my leg will fulfill your innermost desires. Be my Eve. Snake punch her uterus with his rope fort piece. <coughs> The telly tubby girl moans more and smillies her face. They do the same on Tinky Winky. Puncturing the purple asshole with the green penis he is so proud of. Tinky Winky screams. Ah! <laughs> See, my dear I am friend, still here. Stop, I cannot withstand your protuberant obelisk of delectation. I can't, said Dipsy with a condescending. Professor said I must go on with our journey throughout the steps toward a greater understanding about our true nature as alienated species from our parenthood. <sighs> okay. Tinky Winky was suffering the destiny of those under the yoke of their own expectations. The snake was wise, wise and appealed. Use your bodily fluids to appease the sorrow of your roost companion. Dipsy then spit on his hand in an immense gob of putrid mucus. It was as green as his body and full of dancing flowers that were enjoying the hot abode that was his nostrils. Dipsy covered his fluffy hard penis with it and penetrated Tinky Winky again. <coughs> this time the purple one enjoyed. Ho oh, ho oh, ho oh, ho oh. <laughs> Snape was funking hard Lala. A lot of yellow blood continued to get hot in her filled with vaginal daisy. The pain hurted her much. Professor, it takes my skin and negates the maturation of you unleash inside my sacred womb. Mm. 
Be calm, my young student. After a while, no pain can touch you. Wait the massage of gods. And she did. After a while, the orgasm started. And she had multiple ones. Her chest grew a pair of Santa's breasts, and they lactated the nectar of the houses of home. Jesus Christ. <laughs> But she wasn't in her mature years yet, and her bowel controls were rudimentary. Orgasms unleashed a cataract of puppy hot shit through her untouched, lutalus anus. Oh my god! Oh my god! The snot of the dark covered the bed, and the smell was atrocious. The flow was so intense. Globs of shit splashed at Snape's legs and hit his pale and sweet face. Oh, Lala, said Snape. Finally, the cocoa honey bestow us with the feast of his gourmandized guts contents, and Snape rubbed his face with the black fetid hodgepodge ooze Lala vomited on her anus. Oh my god, what? And disgusting that Snape vomited a mash of orange juice, bloody spaghetti, and Mama's chili pepper, <laughs> pepper over her lustful it reached La La Vagina and burned it and splashed all over her tummy. She rubbed the vomit all over her belly and breasts and swallowed a good portion of it. Lala is happy. She reached a new stage of illumination and now can go back to her shame of being the mistress of a snake old man. Ipsy took a portion of that hot boiling dung and deposited it inside Tinky Winky's anus. Now the penetration is complete. What? During the recollection of humans' past lives is being dipping inside their own bodily properties. Snape said Lala. <coughs> Can I penetrate you too? Snape thought Panther, who knows all about something so insulting to his manhood, but the pleasure was so insane, he nodded with a moan. Yes, and Lala prepared her finger full of vomit and macaroni string. She moved slowly her index finger and prepared to penetrate it, and she did. The finger entered Snape's left nostril and started to fuck it. She was fast and didn't want to lose time. As La La Fox Snape knows, the vomit in her nose entered it and breathed it. She's laughing or crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably doing both. <laughs> I, I'm so glad you guys can't see my face because. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He gauged and coughed the bloody puke and it hit Lala's eyes, but she laughed. Lala put her other index finger inside the other snake nostril, and he felt the pleasure more intense. Lala's tits lacked like the in the world. Oh my god! And passionate down. The milk and shit shower was so intense it reached who? That was at a corner masturbating to the whole sea. He drank the shitty covered milk and peed himself in pleasure. Even a small tiny tubby had the right to foul the magnificent joy of the lovely nourishment carving coming from his sister's breast. Now Snape is ready to come. He grabs his penis and fell the, the through being coming and then the fantastic delight goes out of his pow powerful snake hose and fills all our small vagina and a gorgeous and thunder striking goo that overflows her and washed the last pureness that yellow and sexy body had one day. Mm -hmm. She comes to and is a complete FL, a yellow and tasty alien woman girl with a nice and softly cotton breasts. Her telly tubby body got grubbly tasty, and even her brothers think she's delicious now that she has breasts. Dipsy comes inside Tinky Winky too, and the two cotton alien boys now discover what it takes to be a real action hero, just like action man. Oh boys, said God. Snape, you have graduated. You are now full-fledged, mature, and responsible adults. You can take care of your own butts and do all with it you deserve. <laughs> Who was a little sad, but she knew her time will come. Snape said Tinky Winky, rubbing his cum covered and hurting arse. We must escape. The re hairy stupe woman is already searching for us because we haven't returned to sleep. Okay, Tinky Winky, you lead the way. And the Teletubbies and Snape follow read. Tinky Winky's down the hall, they excavated. The cave was very dark for long, but Snape used his wand to illuminate the way. As they walked down the cave, the light at the end of the tunnel was near, and they raced towards it. But someone was expecting them. The figure was facing the cave with his back turned against the light out of the tunnel. 
You shall not pass, said the boys. Who are you? asked Jed Snape. I am very disappointed with you, Snape. I thought you had a rocky shadow heart, but it seems I'm wrong. It was a mistake sending you in here to practice, practice these little rainbow bastards. A mistake I'm going to correct. Oh god, there's going to be so much more. Wait, I know that was it. And then the figure emerges from the light, creating a flowing fl flame around him. And his face is revealed. It's Dumbledore. No, you, shouted Snape. <coughs> yes, me. Why do you want the Teletubbies? Oh, don't you know? They are Death Eaters, Snape. We must <coughs> kill them. What? Death Eaters? That's impossible. No, said Tinky Winky. It's true. We work with Voldemort. <coughs> Snape got awed. No. Why? Voldemort promised that he would free our homeland um, from the Dementors' horde invasion, but as we worked for him and infiltrated inside the Hogwarts, Dumbledore caught us. Now he absorbs our energies to fuel his mecha bulldozer that... Shut the fuck up, cried Dumbledore. Now you will die! Oh my god. No, I will not permit, said Snape. He created a strong bound with those aliens, and he can't let them die, even if they're working for the enemy. So, said Dumbledore, you will die too. And Dumbledore invoked the killing spiel from his wand, but then Yinky Winky, from the bottom of his purse, pulled out a Colt 55 revolver and shoot Dumbledore. But the wizard deflected the bullet. Ha! You cannot kill me. Snape, go, save Teletubbies, I'll buy you time cried Tickly Winky. No, Shuffle la we can't let you die here. But you must, you will kill us all, and no one will can save our homeland. <coughs> and then Tinky Winky advanced in the Dumbledore's direction, shooting back at the wits at him. Sneak used his wand and started to draw a hole in the cave, circumventing the vicious battle happening near the entrance. Snape and the Teletubbies managed to drill another hole out some feet or yard from the confrontation and got out of the cave. <coughs> they raced away from it, and at some distance they saw Tinky Winky shooting Dumbledore. Devil door, cried Tim, Tinky Wink. He pulled a hand grenade, pulled a pin, and threw it at Dumbledore and shouted, shout, Die, bastard! Oh my god. No! cave exploded, launching some debris all over the place. Boss Teletubbies, said Snape. Hide, and they did. A lot of rock fell from the sky and fumes and dust covered everywhere. Tinky Winky, cried the three Teletubbies, and Lala tried to run and find her purple brother. But Snape prevented. No, you can't. This place is unstable. We will die. Staying here, cried Snape. <clears throat> the earth began to shake. They raced away from the crumbling hubby drone Supertronic, avoiding all the falling rocks and posse and flower that attacked them. After a while, they reached a safe haven. Lala was very sad and crying much. Why? Why we let him die, Snape? <coughs> oh, Lala, he saved us and his desire that we escaped. But it is not fair. I know, I know. And Snake hugged Lala, and the other Teletubbies did it too. Now these four heroes must find a way to save the Teletubby planet from the horde of Dementors that are trying to invade and conquer the place, slaving all the millions of Teletubby inhabitants. Who is behind this? Is Voldemort involved? And Snape and Lala? Will they be together till the end? Snape says, Lala, I promise, we will avenge your brother. The end. <laughs> I should do audio. Oh, please do. I'd pay you money. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I ripped my fucking pyjamas. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. oh my god! <laughs> Carry on! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Why? Now suck my index finger. <laughs> and she did. Not just oh any god. finger. <laughs>
yellow blood got expelled from their now broken hymen. Oh my god! Blood... I have to move. My arm hurts. <laughs> That's not part of the story. <laughs> I think. I don't fucking know how long I could last. What the fuck did my sister do to my phone? She comes to. 